you add one small teaspoon of camel's urine and this you can ask whether it's female or a male but I have no idea I think there's no difference inshallah two spoons uh, of tea small in the mug, in, in the mug itself yeah. and drink it the third day for cancer he knows better that camel mixed uh, camel milk I, mixed I with urine me this, you, I remember you telling me this in uh, Kano yes uh, so a friend of mine mm. who was a chemistry teacher one of the best teachers in Jeddah I knew him for about 10 maybe 12 years we used to teach together I happened to bump into about three four years ago so I met the brother and he looked different you know now he's bearded and he looks practicing not as before yeah so I said how are you have you been it's been like 10 years I haven't seen you he said well I unfortunately developed intestine cancer I was shocked Subhanallah. and he said that they extracted a portion of it surgically and the doctor said that there's no hope for you you're gone so I was sick I was devastated and then I got hold of a research by a professor in Jeddah Saudi Arabia who teaches in at the university I think in the pharmaceutical college I don't know what they call it and her name is Dr. Fatin Khurshid and I he said I contacted her and she gave me dosages of milk mixed with urine of camels so I took this and for about five months on daily basis and then went and checked with my same doctor who was shocked and he said this is impossible it is all gone totally disappeared and he said that this was three four years ago and alhamdulillah look at me and I said subhanallah so I aired this story and I got like bombarded with emails from everywhere asking me how to do that what are the dosages and I said I don't know I'm not an expert so I had to call the brother again and he told me about it and it is very simple the first three four days you take a mug of camel's milk only because this would disturb your stomach for the first couple of days until you get used to it and the funny thing is one of the sisters who called and asking me about it and I said to her for the first four days or so take only a mug of camel's milk she said female or male and I said whoa uh, you think a bit before you speak I said I said I never knew that male camels have milk so no 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 so I'm sorry 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 my, my bad so it happens it happens it's the old joke of what the cows drink and yeah. everyone says milk you know. yes so then after the third or fourth day you add one small teaspoon of camel's urine and this you can ask whether it's female or a male but I have no idea I think there's no difference inshallah the second day you add two spoons uh, of tea small in the mug, of, in, in the mug itself yeah. and drink it the third day you add three sp uh, small spoons of tea of, of urine mm. in it and that is it continue on this three spoons uh, the to the rest of the time so it's, very, it's just very little uh, yes it's, and it's it, it, like it would not even you would not find that the taste is so uh, offensive mm. and, and I asked him is it offensive the taste is it in the beginning maybe 
it's, it's the thought. It's more the, the thought, thought of, of, of you drinking. Your the thing is, most of these uh, medications you get from the pharmacy, they've got all sorts of you, things, things you don't know. Things you don't yes. like creatures, yes. and beetles, and they've got all sorts. Of, yes. You know. And uh, uh, he said that um, he nowadays drink it every now and then, couple of days, three days. He stopped doing it every day. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, he's, he's doing well. And, and this was a prophetic mm. uh, uh, a remedy given by the Prophet himself, alayhi salatu This is mentioned in the Sunnah. Yes, in Sahih Bukhari Muslim. Mm. To a group of newly reverted Muslims who came to Medina and fell sick. So the Prophet told them to get out of the borders of Medina mm. and go to the uh, 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 area where they collect the camels for sadaqah, for charity, for zakat. Yeah and to drink from the urine and from the milk yeah, and in no time they got well alhamdulillah you know this is a thing you know sometimes uh, people try to use these things against islam you know oh you're in uh, this hadith it's about drinking camel urine just because it doesn't sound right by the way if you go to india yeah. where the population oh. is almost a billion yeah. it is a normal practice yeah. to add cow's urine yeah. to their food not to their medicine to their food as a delicacy yeah. and some uh, uh, get treated with it some wash with it yeah. so i mean in islam we, we, islam we have yeah. revelation from the prophet yeah. to tell us that this is part of the religion yeah. so no one for uh, camel uh, specifically yes specifically, correct subhanallah you know a lot of times you know the point is that when we know it is from the quran and the sunnah you know we should obey you know, we hear and we obey, we submit to it. And, and not only that, Akhi, if you don't want to, yeah. it's up to you. Nobody's yeah. forcing you to yeah. drink it. But the option is there. Yeah. So, again, when people criticize, yeah. you have all the right to criticize whatever you don't like. But to be fair, look at the other aspects of Islam yeah. and compare apple to apple, the pros and cons. Yeah. Weigh them. So if you tell me that, mm, okay, I looked into Islam and I found that 98% of it is excellent, perfect, logical. But there are these 2% that do not go down well my throat. Yeah. So I said, okay, yeah, like so, that. so that's, okay, that's okay with me. If 98 is okay with you, this means that the 2% two, 2 that you are uh, unable to digest Mm. This is not because they're wrong. Mm. This is because your thinking process is wrong. Yeah. And you should know that if 98%, nothing on earth is 98% yeah. uh, uh, false proof and excellent except yeah. Islam. Yes. Um. Think a bit before you speak.